check this out. This looks too good not to share. So I finally got around to test fitting these wheels. I knew they were gonna look good, but man, this looks way better than I expected. I love the meaty setup on these. At this rod height. Looks so good. Obviously it's gonna need a little bit of adjustment, but I'm gonna have to camera the front. So I wish these coilovers came with camera plates, but it kind of really doesn't make no sense. How you how are you gonna spend like 20, 2,500, three grand for coilovers and no camera plates? So fortunately I'm gonna have to order some camera plates because this fitment is pretty tight. Um, this is actually gonna be pushing it, but it's a 265 on a nine and a half. Um, but yeah, man, this is close. But honestly, this is gonna look so good once I get it dialed in. It's worth investing some time in to get it to fit right because this is gonna look sick. Nine and a half square plus 22. Obviously, I could run the 255, but I really don't want to run anything smaller than the 265 already. I'm running 265s on that, and right now the car is breaking loose. Maybe because the tires are halfway gone, but I really like this. This looks so good. Sorry, 46. We're going to have to find you a new set of shoes. <laughs> Yo. This angle right here. Damn, son. I wish I could run them now. I mean, I... I mean, the back is, if you look at it here, let's see, you can tell how much it's poking, but, I mean, I think it's doable, <laughs> maybe, I don't know how much camber, we might have to camber this thing, like, negative three and a half, just so it could clear, but I'm up for it, though, just to get these wheels to fit, man, these things look good. Alright guys, so I ended up jacking up the car on the other side to kind of get a idea on how far the car would, or if it would hit if the car compresses, or once the car compresses, and it actually tucked in more than I would have expected, so I might be wrong, but this is probably the best way to get an idea to see if it's going to hit, so I have it jacked up quite a bit, and let me show you guys. So this is how far I have it jacked up on the rear, or well, I mean on the front, which is causing it to tuck back here. So in order for this to really hit, and even right here on the bumper, I feel like it has to tuck in quite a bit. And I mean, I would have to hit like a really heavy bump. And this is without adjusting any of the camera. So in my head, I'm thinking maybe another degree and a half should do the trick, but... <laughs> It's really close and it's not hitting. So let me show you guys. So I got this card here where I'm gonna just put it up against the tire and it still goes through. So that shows you that this thing is clearing without any adjustment. And um, I think I might be able to make it work. I might not even have to get camber arms in the rear. So that's what I was thinking. I was gonna have to get camber arms, but I think that's my goal is to do it without it. So I'm gonna have the alignment shop camber it or max it out as most as possible just so, I think the max that you can get on these is like negative three anyway. So um, right now I think it's probably a negative two and a half. Um, if I can get them to do negative three, negative three and a half, I think that would be the ideal camber. So that way, so it has plenty of room to compress because it really has to compress quite a bit. I wanna say maybe an inch and a half for it to even come to rubbing but i haven't test driven it yet i can't do it today so in this video we won't talk about it but yeah i think the front if i want to keep these uh, tires on here i'm gonna have to do uh camber plates or i could drop down to a maybe a 255 i, I want to say 245 would probably clear them without any issue but really i mean i like having the same amount of stretch front and rear if possible so i think i'm gonna have to do camera plates just to get it to fit because plus this looks so sick with it and then also i've, al I've always been a big fan of having the midi setup set up with a little bit of um camber up front i think it looks real sick so i think we're gonna do that all right so here's the uh quarter panel 
and I actually when I had the car jacked up it was actually all the way up to this line so it would really have to compress about an inch this is about an inch an inch and a quarter right here so it would the car would have to really compress about an inch and a quarter for it to maybe rub a little bit and then I think it's just gonna rub on the inside so I think and even I don't even have to go that much into uh, the whole camber thing so I'm gonna see what the camber settings is at now once I go get in alignment and then we're just kind of gonna take it from there and hopefully I don't need to camber that much the front um, I really think the fronts would probably work I can get the fenders rolled because they do have a little lip on the inside compared to the rear so I think I'm gonna roll the front fenders and then um, that should create a little bit of clearance without having me to camber it because if I could avoid cambering the fronts as well, you know, that would be the ideal solution because the car is really not that low. It still has a little bit of clearance. I mean, it is pretty low, but it still has a little bit of clearance for it to not hit. So I think I should be okay. The only concern would be maybe here on the bumper tabs. Um, but if it doesn't hit, I mean, we're golden. And um, I need this gives you guys an idea so if you guys want to run a different set of wheels i mean it's possible and i've seen them on some f30s but they do run like smaller size tires but i think the 265s are doable for sure just takes a little bit of more a little bit more work but if you get some nine and a halfs and just throw it like say um in the back 255s i think you'll be in better shape but i do recommend that you have coilovers if you're not this low uh, with springs and stuff, it's probably going to look out of place. So definitely get some coilovers for your F30 or F32. And I think you should be in good shape. I mean, honestly, this looks super good. I really don't want to change it. So I think I'm going to try to drive it like this and see how it goes. It won't be in this video because I do got some things to do. So we're going to postpone this. And this is just like a little teaser for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. These are cool, but I mean, I just, I'm not a big fan of black wheels. Like, I get tired of them real easy. So those would definitely look better in silver. But man, I like this. I like the polish with this color. The polish was going to look good with this car. With the color that I'm going to be rubbing it eventually. But I did get that color because I do have intentions of running white wheels at that point. So now it, this kind of works out because I can run the polish with this car. Which I wasn't even expecting to get this car in this color actually. So I'm gonna run this car the color that I wanted. And I'm gonna find a different set of wheels to do in white. So these are for sale, the 437Ms. The finish on these are not the greatest, but if anybody's interested in picking them up, um, let me know. I was gonna have them painted silver, just the outside and then have the inner barrel um, leave it black. But they're not bad wheels, no curb brush. Tires, the front tires are almost new. They're maybe got 1,500 miles, 2,000 miles, give or take. The rears, you guys can see the rears are a bit more worn out. So the rears still have some life left, but not the greatest. Uh, so the rears are Michelin Pilots and the rears are Continental Extreme Contact. So the all season tires and these are just the uh, pilot super sports but if you guys are interested local pickup preferably i can ship but obviously uh, i mean it would be better to just get the tires removed and sell them separately and ship without the tires but at this point if i'm going to keep these wheels on this car then i'm not going to need the 19 inch tire so if somebody can buy the whole set let me know and uh yeah so here's the last look of this car dang this looks good no polish is not the thing for a lot of you. the BMW owners. They love black wheels, but I'm here to do something different. I mean, the reason why I got this car was just to try to find ways to make it different. The F32s, I feel like they're so overlooked compared to the F30. I mean, I've always liked them, but I was I was always a fan of the F30. But after having a F30 328, 335, and then going into F80, um, I was gonna get a 340 manual. I was trying to. But I just couldn't find one. And then this came across. But I'm really happy with this purchase. It's different. It's a different color. It's a unique color. You don't see it too often. And it just works with this. With these wheels. Damn. 
All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you guys like these wheels on the, on the car. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.